guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a good old fashioned haul for you guys. Um, the reason I say it's old fashioned is because I've collected all these things about over two months, maybe more some of the things, um, and I just thought I'd chuck them all into a haul video for you guys. I freaking love watching hauls, they're probably my favourite videos to watch. Maybe I'm just not watching a lot at the moment, but I haven't seen many hauls where like people go out to a lot of different shops and then show them all together. I feel like a lot of hauls now are very like one store, they'll show one store, they brought a lot of things from one store and they're going to just show stuff from that store or that brand or whatnot. Um, I'm not like that, I don't go out and spend like a lot of money at one place. Um, I like to go, out, if I go out shopping I'll go to a mall and then just go pick whatever I want from each store. So that's kind of what this video is. I've been collecting this stuff for yeah a while now and I thought I'd grab, gather it all together and share it with you guys. I look very washed out. I've got quite a few things to show you guys. I've got lots of things around here from like beauty products. I don't have much, I don't think I have any makeup in this haul. No, I don't. I've been trying to take it easy on buying makeup recently because um, I don't really need more makeup. I've got a lot of makeup that I just haven't used a lot of yet. So I'm going to try and go through products first before I start buying new makeup. So the first place I will show you guys is some things from Bath & Body Works, which I am so excited about. Ever since I started watching YouTube, I used to see like American beauty vloggers and they'd um, do hauls on Bath & Body Works. And when I lived in New Zealand, we could never get it in New Zealand. Um, and if we could, we'd have to like use a shipping service to get it to us. Um, and I just couldn't be bothered with that. But they recently, well, quite a few months ago now, I think probably two months ago now, they opened a store in Sydney um, in QVB. So, yeah, I was like, super excited. I think I went like the second week that opened and I went and purchased some things. Now, I've always been into their candles. I've seen their candles before and I love them. So I picked up two of their candles. This one here, I've nearly used all of it because I've left it on overnight a few times. Don't recommend, but yeah, this one smells so good I, it's pretty much gone like it's nearly all gone this is the peppermint one um yeah it's one of the three wick candles i absolutely love it how cute is the packaging as well i love it um so yeah i picked up that one i think they were two for 60 um i'm pretty sure it was which i think personally is pretty good especially for the size of the candle um but yeah the peppermint peppermint one smells super good Kind of smells like peppermint and vanilla together. It's really nice. So I burn that one in my lounge a lot. As you guys can see, it's nearly all gone. And then the second one I got is this one here. How cute is the packaging? So pretty. Um, but this one is one of their white barn candles. And it is their rose water and ivy. I love this one. I just don't like how bright and like fluoro the pink is on it. Like I wish it was a little bit more dulled down. Because I kind of like more neutral colors in my house. But that's okay. It's just a candle. Um, but this one smells really nice. It smells fresh, um, almost like a really nice rose fragrance. Um, that is a rose fragrance, Janelle. Um, but yeah, it smells like a rose perfume. It's super fresh, super rosy. Um, I burn this one in my bedroom, and I don't need to burn this for very long because the scent of it is so strong. I burn it for maybe like half an hour, and my room is so strong of the scent. So, yeah, you really don't need to burn these lots either. Um, but yeah. That was the second one I got. I love the gold foil around it. The pink does look really, really cool. Just my room is very light in colour. So, yeah. But I need to pick up some more of those candles because I do really like them. They burn for ages. And then the next things I have are these here. And these are the Bath and Body Works Pocket Box. Or Pocket Backs. Um, and they're little hand sanitizers. I'd always heard a lot about... I've always... Can't talk today. Um, I've always heard a lot about their little... Um, hand sanitizers, so I picked up some and they were like three for nine dollars super cheap um, But this one here is the warm vanilla and sugar. So I keep this one in my makeup room um, For when I'm doing my makeup or people's makeup and then I have this one here. This is ocean. This is from the men's range I actually picked this one up for Ulla not that he really uses it So I just keep this one in the kitchen, but this one smells really nice it Smells like a men's shower gel. It's really nice and then I also got another one. It was a sweet pea one, but that one's tucked away in one of my handbags somewhere. So I'm not going to go and find that. It's the same thing, just pink and sweet pea scented. All right. And then the next things I have are all from the same place. I went to a um, Estee Lauder company sale last week, I think it was. And I picked up a few goodies from there. If you don't know what the Estee Lauder company sale is, it's 
it's a corporate store so it was a sale at their corporate store for staff members so anybody who works for any of the Estee Lauder companies um, can go there and purchase things cheaper than the retail value um, but they had a big sale on there the other day it is an invitation only place but um, I work for one of the Estee Lauder companies so I was able to go um, but yeah, I picked up a few things while I was there, so I'll show you guys what I got. The first two things I got are from Clinique, and I actually got three things, but the first thing I got is this here. This is the Clinique Pep Start Tone One Exfoliating Cleanser. If you guys watched my last video, my empties, you guys would have seen this one in there. Um, I love this stuff. I picked up two of these, but one's in my shower at the moment. Um, but yeah, I was raving on about this, so I brought another one. I was hoping I could get a full size one, but they didn't have any there, so I just got two of these instead. They were like something like four dollars something each. They were super cheap, but this stuff is amazing, and I find the exfoliator on it is fine to use on my skin every day. Because I did wonder in my last video if it was okay to use on my skin every day, but I find it's fine. And then the next item I have is the Clinique um, Pep Start Eye Cream. I needed a new eye cream because. Again, in my last video, I showed you guys a Kiehl's eye cream, but it was too, um, it was too rich for my eyes, and it gave me milia, so I had to get rid of it or give it to my boyfriend. But I got this one here. How cute is that packaging? Um, you can tell I'm a huge packaging person, but it's the Pet Start eye cream, um, and it's got a little roller ball on it, which I found really cool. I was going to get the Clinique um, Smart eye cream, but. Um, I decided to try this one instead. I liked the idea of the little ball, so it's easy just to roll onto the eyes. So yeah, I'm excited to start using this one. And then the next two things I got are from Jo Malone. I picked up some Jo Malone goodies. I've been really into Jo Malone lately. Um, we have a stand at my work of Jo Malone products and I always go over there and smell everything. It's just so good. Um, but I picked up a fragrance and this one is the Basil and Neroli fragrance. They didn't have many fragrances there, but I smelt it there and I really liked it. Um, and surprisingly, I like it. I don't, it's not the type of scent that I would usually wear. To me, it smells quite like a, it's a very unisex scent. Like men could definitely wear this, you can wear whatever really. But yeah, it is a very fresh scent. It's not the kind of scent that I usually go for. I usually go for sweet and floral. This one is very sort of like, I don't know how other to explain it than fresh, but it's really nice. I don't like it so much when I sniff it here, but when it's on my body, it's a lot nicer. I really like it. So yeah, I got that one. I've used quite a little bit of it already. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love, I just love the Jo Malone like packaging, the scents, everything. It's just so pretty and it looks really cute with all my other fragrances too. And then I also got a Jo Malone bath oil. This is the, um, Peony and Blush Suede. Oh, you guys, this stuff smells so good. I really got this because of the packaging, um, and I thought it would look cute in my bath, so I picked it up. Not only does it look really, really cute by my bath, but it also smells amazing too. I haven't tried this yet. Oh, yum. It smells so nice, like a really nice, um, very rose. Not rose, peony, so it smells very strong of peony, but like, really nice pretty fragrance it smells like a shower gel i don't know how shower gels smell of all different things but it's like a nice sort of it smells very pretty like it smells like something that my grandma would have at her house but like not in an old lady kind of way like a good kind of way it smells super nice so yeah i'm so excited to try that out i might have a bath tonight actually and try that so, got that and that's all i got from the stuff store and then the next item i have is from i have two items from kmart um i go to kmart all the time but i've kind of forgotten everything else I actually went last night and bought some stuff i should show you i think i've got them in here already but um yeah i got one of their masks i'm a little bit skeptical about masks from kmart i don't know why like masks that are their own brand from kmart i'm not too sure why but this one was only a dollar um, so I'm going to try this, and I follow Kmart Queen on Instagram, and she, I think she had tried one of these, and she she, she said she really liked it, so yeah, I'm going to give it a go. It was only a dollar, I might try it out tonight, um, and vlog what it's like, and let you guys know, but yeah, that one there, it was only a dollar, it's a nourishing mask, it's um, kale and spinach. I really need nourishing at the moment, because my skin is super dry. And then the next item I have from Kmart is a book. And this is this here. I've been obsessed with books recently. Like, I just want to start a little library. 
and Kmart have a lot of really good books so if you're in the hunt for like a good new book they've got everything from like I wrote my Zoella books from there they've got um yeah like all the YouTuber books as well they've got cooking books they've got I'm sure you guys have all been to Kmart before and would know this but I'm saying it anyway they've also got really good like motivational books this one here would probably fall under the motivational category so it's the love your life 100 ways to start living the life you deserve um, and it's just a cute little coffee table book. I keep this next to my bed and I read a few pages of it every day. But they've got some really good like quotes in there. And then it'll have a little paragraph or so. Um, just for some inspo for your everyday life. So yeah, this one is really cute. This one just stays beside my bed. There's a few other ones like this as well that I want to pick up. I think they come in like a collection or something. But yeah, it's super cute. All right, and then the last sort of beauty category things I have are some face masks. I got these from W Cosmetics, which is a little Korean, or I think it's Korean. Yeah, Korean um, beauty store in the mall that I go to. So I picked up a few face masks to do because my skin, as I've said for like the fifth time in this video, has been really bad. So I picked a few up. This is the Vita Light Beam Mask. I've actually tried this one before. It's really nice. So I thought I'd pick up another one of those. I got this one here, the Diamond Brightening Am Ampoule Mask. That one there. And then I've got the, this is from the same brand, S&P, Gold Collagen Ampoule Mask. Ampoule? And I've got one of these, the Pure Smile Rose Essence Mask. I actually have tried the Pure Smile ones before and I love them. I haven't tried the rose one before though. Um, when we were doing face masks but the night before my friend's wedding, I took over a bunch of face masks and one of the girls tried um, these out and she said it was really good. So I'm going to try the rose one. And then the last one I have is the PDF AC Dressing Ampoule Mask. I don't know, that one there. That one but yeah i'm excited to have some more masks because i went through my skincare drawer a wee while ago and a lot of my masks have gone off so i needed to get some more so glad i got those they were like less than three dollars each so very affordable all right so now the next bunch of products i have is all clothing so i've stood back a little bit so i can so i can actually show you guys i'm not going to try them on um I'm not so I'm not going to but the first place I went to was Bonds and they had like a 40% off sale I think if you purchased one item you got 40% off the book no if you purchased two items or more you got 40% off of them so I picked up two things I walked into the Bonds store and I saw this and I fell in love with it immediately I think I was wearing this in my last video as well but it's just a grey sweatshirt I love hoodies and comfy clothes they are my jam I buy way too many comfy clothes, but you know what? Whatever. I wear them all the time. Um, but yeah, um, I love this hoodie because I've got stains on it down the front already. Yeah, I'm a mess. Um, but yeah, it's just a plain grey hoodie and then it's got the Bonds. It's a really thick band around the bottom. Um, and then it just says Bonds around it and it's also got it here as well. But this is so comfortable. I've... And then the second item I got, I got these. Now I don't really know how we feel about these in all honesty. Like I like them. I probably wouldn't wear them out the house though. But they just say Bonds, 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 Bonds everywhere. Just black and white um, leggings. They're a little bit see-through. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to wear these out of the house. But I think they'll look pretty cool just for like hanging out around the house. I need some more like loungy leggings the only leggings i really have are like sports leggings or workout leggings so i decided to pick these up because i thought they just were funky and i don't have any leggings like this so yeah i picked up those i love bonds i always go in there whenever i go to the mall and nine times out of ten i walk out with something not good for my bank account all right so the next things i have are just from kmart kmart come on um, from Kmart, um, that is one place I should just do a big haul on because I buy a lot from Kmart and yeah, maybe I'll just do a big haul on that for another video. But anyway, I just picked up a bra. I'm just going to show you my bra. It was $4.50. Um, this is not the ones that I usually buy. I buy most of my bras from there just because there's a certain type that I really, really like. Except they didn't have any of them when I've been there the past two times. So I just picked up one of these ones. These are just, just the regular t-shirt bra. Um, but they don't have any like push up to them. I'm a part of the itty bitty teddy committee, so I need a little bit of push up. Um, but 
yeah, I don't know. I just picked up that one for now. It was only $4.50, so I thought I'd give this a try because maybe they don't make the ones that I wear anymore. But yeah, I thought I'd try that one out. And then I love Kmart just for basics because I go through basics really fast. They just go funny on me super fast or they fade really fast. So I just buy cheap ones because I'm not going to go and pay like a ridiculous amount for an like a just a plain t-shirt so i just have this like semi turtleneck here um it's just in plain black i just bought, uh, brought this to wear to work because i'm running out of black tops to wear to work so i thought i'd get this one and this one was only like eight dollars so i got that one and then the next top i have is this one here this is just a um i got this from valley girl this is again just like a semi turtleneck top this one is actually cropped i bought this um, thinking it was my size, I actually bought this in quite a few sizes too big for me, but um, I kind of like it. It makes it a little bit more baggy and like comfortable. So yeah, um, it's just like a nice tan crop. It would be cropped on me if I bought my size, but it's not really. Um, so, but yeah, I like the way it, I can't talk to that. What is wrong with me? Um, it looks really like nice and slouchy just on me. It's super comfortable. So yeah, I love that one and I love the material of it. I think this was something like $6 or Something crazy like that. Oh, I also forgot one another thing from Kmart as well. I actually got this one yesterday, but this is just a plain workout top. I'm going to start getting back into working out a little bit because everything's just starting to catch up on me. So, so I thought I'd pick up some more sort of active wear things because I don't really have much tops, like active wear tops. So I got this one. It feels super comfortable and stretchy. Um, and yeah, so it's just like a plain grey one. This was like $8 from Kmart as well. Just a simple tee or singlet. The next item I have is kind of a splurge item for me, but I saw these on the Iconic and I fell in love with them. And then I went into glue and I fell in love with them again, so I picked them up. But these are the Kappa Track Pants. Um, these were a little bit more on the spendy side, but I wanted to treat myself because I knew I would wear them all the time. I always see these on like, I see them a lot on Instagram like they're a very Instagram track pant um, but yeah they're kind of like that 90s style track pant where they button up all the way to the top um, so you can have them like split these are very see-through so I don't really wear them out of the house but I just love them I wear them all the time um, that's why I could justify the price of these I probably paid like I think I paid like 95 like near to 100 dollars for these but I did justify that because I wear them all the freaking time they're so comfortable as well and you can tell they're really good quality so yeah I absolutely love these so cute all right and then all the last items are from cotton on I have been in love with cotton on recently they've had some really good things I feel like they've definitely upped the game with their clothing in the past sort of six months um but yeah I just brought some things from there so I'll show you guys what I've got I got a, another sort of workout set, so this one here is, I don't know what it's called, but they're really cool. They remind me of Gymshark for some reason. I think it's just the pattern on, pattern on the material, but these are amazing. They're so soft and they fit so nicely. Um, this bit up here has got like the band thing, as you can see. It's got a little coin pocket, um, but yeah, they, so, they fit super well. They're super stretchy, um, but still kind of suck you in as well, which is what I like, um, but yeah. I just love the pattern of these. I was going to get some Gymshark ones, but then I saw these and I was like, oh, I can get these now, so I might as well get them. So I got the leggings and then I also got the matching crop, which is like a cross back, which looks really cool. And I kind of wish I got this in a size bigger because it's just a little bit too tight, um, but I can't really go back and swapping it, so I'm just going to keep it. But yeah, I would, I still wear it though. I wore it yesterday, but yeah, I love those. Super cute. And then from Cotton On, I also got a dress. This had 30% off. I think it was $20 and then it went down to something like $13 or something like that. But it's super cute. I'm actually going away on holiday next month for my birthday. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys where yet, but you guys will see vlogs of that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get like a nice simple dress for while I'm away. And it's also something that I can just wear at home and feel cute. You know, so I got this. I love the color. It's like a emerald forest green. Um, but this is a really nice fitted dress. The material of it is like a knit. So it's warm. It's also like just feels really nice on the skin. My hair is just everywhere. Um, but yeah, I like the length of it as well because it's not too short. It goes just 
I think just below my knees or just above my knees. It's around that sort of midi length anyway, but it looks really cute on. So yeah, I might have to do like an Instagram post when I'm on holiday in this dress. Yeah. All right, and then the last thing to end this long haul is these here, they're around the wrong way. And I've also managed to stain these already. But these are a pair of, these are a pair of jeans. I picked these up for $15 from Kmart. I've been wanting a pair of um, pinstripe jeans for ages and I could never find any that I like or fit me right. So yeah, I ended up buying these because they were only $15 and they fit me perfectly. They fit like a freaking dream. I don't know what I've done on the butt here, but I've said something and it doesn't look good. I think I said in bird poop. In all honesty, that's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, these need to go in the wash, but I just wanted to put them in the haul first. But yeah, these fit amazing and they make my butt look great, which I like. And yeah, they just fit really, really well. They're tight, but they're not too tight. Um, yeah, so I got those too. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the haul. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know if you want to know anything in more depth about anything that I've shown, as per usual. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, request, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.